Well, hey guys, welcome to Bowhunting Soul. Okay, so today you're downstairs in my dirty uh, hovel hole. It's kind of not dirty, but it's kind of messy. I apologize for that. So today um, I want to talk about uh, sharpening and grinding and that kind of stuff. Uh, well, not necessarily grinding, but more like sharpening. Um, if you are an outdoors person, whether you hunt or not, uh, hell, even if you have kitchen knives, you need a way to sharpen your, your, your knives. So for me, sharpening knives, sharpening broadheads, super, super important. I, you know, to me, a knife is a tool. It's, it's got to be absolutely number one. Now, I'm not going to go through a full-on knife sharpening video right here. We can do another video with that, with the full-on, um, you know, uh, sanding belts and, you know, whether it's stones you're going to use or we're going to strop it afterwards, get a nice polished edge, that kind of thing, move a burr around. Uh, you might have seen other videos like that before. We're not going to do that today. Today, though, we're going to talk about a simple, affordable uh, belt sander um, from, uh, well, I'm going to put a link to it. It's on Amazon. Um, I am an affiliate with them, absolutely, but you've probably seen this stuff everywhere. They do sell this thing at, uh, I believe, is it Northern? No, not Northern Tool. Harbor Freight, too, sells it, but, you know, I got mine off of Amazon. So this is Central Machinery, okay? This is about as cheap a 1 by 30, a 1 inch by 30 uh, belt sander that you can possibly get. And honestly, uh, for the purposes of, of, of what I needed to do, it's just fine. Now the 1 by 30 means it's the size of the sanding belt. I've got sanding belts here, actually, and I'm going to put a link to this one as well. This is a, uh, a, a like a stack of sanding belts uh, of various grits. Now when you get this thing, okay, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is not exactly like top-notch quality fit and finish and everything like that but for our purposes it absolutely works if you don't want to spend a lot of money this is the one to have when you get this thing this is what the box looks like it's this it's, there's a central machinery you know and it comes you know with a guide that's goes on to here okay supposedly it comes with a lever and everything like that that you're supposed to be able to put the guide on and tilt the guide and things like that. This thing is absolute it's garbage. Throw it away. Throw the box away. Throw far, throw far out of your out of your sight line because it's just going to make you mad. Um, I keep it off. I haven't used a table on anything that I've used as a sander in probably 20 years. Uh, to me. To me, my personally, to me, it's a little more dangerous if you're actually going to like put something on the table and then uh, risk having it get uh, sucked in to, you know, behind this. Now, when I sharpen, I sharpen freehand. I sharpen freehand on a belt, and that's just the way I do it. So, um, the way this machine, the way this thing comes, it actually comes with an 80 grit, an 80 grit belt. Okay. Now, the belt, I think for 80 grit is way too coarse. It's way too coarse for um, anything that I want to do. Unless I'm actually like really, really grinding a brand new edge on a knife or a broadhead or something like that. 80 grit's way too much. I probably want to start with, I don't know, 220, 150, 220, something like that. And then work up to something finer. So um, this stack uh, that I bought actually, uh, that I got on Amazon, goes from, I believe... I can't remember. I'm going to put the, I mean, this goes all the way to 600. I think it comes from, you can't see that there. It comes with like 150 to 600. So uh, these are, these are all, you know, various grits and these are what you're going to want to use. Now, what do you do when you get this thing then? Once you, once you decide that you don't want to use this contraption that really doesn't fit very well, you know, and by the way, if you're thinking, why am I, why am I talking about something where you got to throw away the pieces from it? Well, I mean, again, let's put it this way. This, this is an affordable option. You can pay hundreds for like really, really high quality fit and finish stuff where everything is going to fit just right. And you got little micro adjustments, uh, you know, on, on, on the bevel of certain things on, on the, on the, on the, on the table for it, things like that. This is, this isn't it. But if you're just looking for a one by 30 belt sander where you can sharpen stuff by hand, this is it, okay? So, um, you know, on off button. Okay, no big deal. So, when you want to change out a belt, pretty simple actually. We'll unplug it first, we'll do safety. And it's got a guard here. And I don't have a Phillips screwdriver, so I'm using this Victorinox, Victorinox Swiss tool. By the way, this thing blows away any Leatherman out of the water for fit and finish and quality by far. If you've handled one of these things, you know what I'm talking about. They're more expensive, and I love my Leathermans, and I'll put a link to this thing too. But man, 
the snickety snick smoothness of, of one of these completely blows away anything Leatherman's ever made. So anyway, you've got a little guard up here. Yeah, I can break it loose. This comes off. Turn it around. Undo the knob. Oops. And then it just kind of just comes out and lifts off. Okay. And then over here, if you notice, you've got this knob. You loosen. You loosen that knob. What that does is it takes tension off of this pulley over here. So you loosen the knob enough to, well, so you can't loosen it anymore. And then you can actually take this, rotate this off, and this belt just comes off, just like that. And then you take one of these belts on, put it on, same way. Uh, some belts will have a uh, direction, yeah, there we go. They've got a directional arrow, I don't know if you can see it there, yep, yeah, right there, okay. So that when you put this on, it's so that the direction that it's flowing, that it's going to come down. This it's going to it's going downward. The, the sander goes this way. That's the direction that you want the belt to go. It's just the way they overlap and the way they seam, um, you know, the, the fabric onto this, so that it doesn't come apart. That it's supposed to stretch in a certain way. Um, so yeah. So this is basically it. I mean. This does a pretty good job of, of sharpening, actually does a very good job. It does a good job as well as you can possibly do of sharpening whatever you want. It does have this guard back here where it keeps this belt, not a guard, but um, it keeps this belt uh, kind of flat over here, okay? But what I do is I sharpen on the flexible part over here, okay? That way you can kind of, if you're good at sharpening and you have kind of a hand for it, you can kind of, with the amount of pressure that you put into the uh, in, into the belt, it'll give you like a nice smooth. If you want to kind of um, kind of kind of bevel, not bevel the edge, but if you want to kind of round the edge, convex the edge a little bit, okay. Um, it it it, it the, you can kind of play with how much pressure you're putting it into it, so you can kind of finish off that final final point, move the burr around a little bit when you're sharpening. So we're gonna get we can get into that in another video. So um, I just wanted to do like a kind of like an initial, it's not even an unboxing because I've had this for a little bit and I've been using this to kind of rough grind some stuff, but I, I you know, I don't really, uh, I don't really have much of a use for, for 80 grit sandpaper. But anyway, so here it is. So it was a central, was a central machinery. Um, I'm going to leave a link to it. I'm going to leave a link to all these belts as well. Now these belts can work on other one by 30 sanders as well. So, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to use it with this one, but again, if you're looking to do anything like sharpening broadheads like I've got you know you know I've got like my those wikis that have been through you know a lot of a lot a lot of practice I haven't sharpened these ones but you know they'd be perfect to sharpen on here um, you know knives kitchen knives I've got some kitchen knives upstairs that I've had for many many years that uh, finally need an actual sharpening instead of uh, going on on a steel you know on on the on the what many people call the sharpener. It's not really a sharpener, it's steel. You're honing, you're stealing uh, that edge. But there's a few of them that actually need uh, a resharpening after so many years. So anyway, this is a good, good viable option. So they sell a ton of these things. A lot of people use them. Um, again, not gonna be the one where you're gonna have micro, micro adjustments, but if you know what you're doing and you wanna get into sharpening something by hand and all you really just want is a belt sander, and then you know you work it manually this is the one for you so anyway uh that's all i got for you i'm going to leave a link for everything uh down below so make sure you like share and subscribe i appreciate that and i'll talk to you guys next time and then we'll probably be doing a actual sharpening video sometime down the future so all right thanks a lot